Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we sailed to Lost Fraley's, I spear some fish. Washing today is my job. If that Massive. Came the boat, <laughs> just climbing up this little rock spot. Oh, just doing that. Mm. <laughs> and we sailed to La Paz. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Oh, good morning, guys. Well, it's morning for us. Just taking a little stroll along the esplanade in Mexico, La Paz. That's where the boats are moored out behind us. Quite a nice little spot. Just left the kids on the boat this morning. So we're just on anchor in the bay at the moment. Bit of my sailing background. One of those, little Hobie cat. That's, uh, that's how I learnt to sail. One of those things. Oh, there's Sarah. So Lee said that was me before and uh, we just found a statue of Lee. Translating. This is painful, this shopping. This has taken hours. Sorry. Looking for what? What's the problem with all these ingredients? When you look into sources and look into the ingredients in food, it's like pretty alarming what's in there. So I know, I'm pretty anal about what we eat when we're cooking at home. When we're out, it's different, but when we're cooking at home, I like to eat the best ingredients that we can possible. That's how we look after our health. What have you got there, darling? <laughs> we have been shopping all day. We're so hungry and we just <laughs> we couldn't stop. And now we found this place and it's really nice. The Very day tough. ended well. Very tough little mojito. It's very nice. And some smoked marlin. Pescado tacos. I must say this is round two. We had some coconut prawns to start with, they were delicious. And a sweet melon, and this is our second one. Because we're starving. And we're gonna take some back to the kids because it is cold and they want some too. It's really nice. We had a bit of a like run around all day, didn't eat, trying to find food. And um, yeah, it's ending very nicely. Cheers everyone. Sarah's just loaded the toppings up on this, so it's a little bit hard to eat cleanly. We've got the uh, morning broadcast. We're in La Paz. It's quite interesting. It's uh, a few characters on there. Local assistance. There is the downloadable PDF file, complete comprehensive services guide at clubcruceros.net. But if you need help now, come now. All right, everyone, thank you for your participation and your attention this morning. Have a fabulous day. Stay hydrated. Stay in the shade. Just about to head out to the islands. I just thought I'd do a quick just engine check, check oil, water, fuel, all those little things you do. We haven't got many hours on the engine since we left San Diego. We've got about 50, 53 hours, I think. 53 hours since we had all our fuel issues the last time. Really, we've done about a day motoring and the rest of those hours are just pretty much when we come into an anchorage and out of an anchorage and I usually try and run the engine for like an hour or so just to keep it topped up before we turn it off. It keeps everything moving and good. But, I had a little problem this morning. I'm gonna get the torch, I'm gonna show you. We're not sure what to do because the tank is about a quarter full um, from here on up to our destination, which is Port of Penasco, so La Paz to Port of Penasco is, I don't know how many miles, but it's a, a fair hike. Most people say you're going to do a lot of motoring. We're not sure, so we don't want to add too much fuel to our tank, because when we get to Port of Penasco, one of the jobs will be to give our tank a proper clean out, which we haven't done yet. Start down here. This is our second ray core unit so if there's a problem we can switch over to this one you can see the bowl see the fuel what it looks like in a normal clean not the cleanest lens but it's red why is it red uh it's red because it's got a fuel treatment in it guys check this out this should be all diesel all the way down to the bottom it's up to here it's probably getting at a stage where if i didn't notice that this morning potentially could have stopped the engine. So we're gonna clean this out. 
that is absolute crud i've never seen diesel that bad like i say we spent years in asia home of the crappy diesel i've never seen a filter that bad we've got some serious dirty tank issues on this boat so definitely we need to get this when we haul out we'll get the the tank completely cleaned out and start fresh you can see all the slime and yuck in there that is disgusting. There was that much slime in there. We couldn't actually um, get it all out, so we just decided to remove the bowl. And Sarah's wiped all that down. I'm just attaching this back on. Could have been a bit pointless. It's probably going to fill up with more goop. I've just got a strange feeling it's not the last of the bad fuel. But we will know because we've cleaned it all out. We'll put a new filter in. Pretty straightforward these ray cores. Closely monitor this over the next couple of days. We'll only be using it for an hour here and there, but we will definitely keep an eye on it. It's clean now. Um, we're just gonna chop this up and hopefully this sees us through till we get to Puerto Penasco. We just got this because our track record of catching fish hasn't been that great at the moment. Oh, <laughs> look at those bad boys. So we are leaving La Paz today. We're just about to pull up the anchor. We've been here for a couple of days now, stocking up on food and fuel. And yeah, we're about to leave out to some islands which look absolutely beautiful. So let's go. So we're anchored in a bay and it might have a muddy bottom. I don't know what the bottom is, but it's like a bay. So we like to wash down the chain because it sits in a locker and if we don't wash it, it gets kind of smelly. So. I'm gonna get the hose out to wash the chain. We pulled up the anchor and now we're just heading to the fuel dock to fuel up and then head out. We're that little boat and we're heading to there. So we just pulled into the fuel jetty before we head out of La Paz to get some fuel fuel up and then we're going to head out to the islands this afternoon. It's supposed to have got up to 100 today, 100 uh, Yeah, it's just over 100. Fahrenheit, which is about 30 38 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So we're near the 40 mark. So he's getting warm, <laughs> a little bit warmer as we go north and then we'll start our boat works. Fish is on! Fish is on! Neutral, please. Oh, got off. That's a big fish. Just about to come into this anchorage. We've been motor sailing. It's only taken us a couple of hours, so yeah, should be fun when we get here. Mum doesn't think to think they're vultures. <laughs> they're vultures. <laughs> I reckon they are. 
Did you see the photo? Yeah, he's running away from the vultures. The vultures are really big birds. We, they were literally at our last stop. And Dad said, there's a vulture right there, sweetie. Can you see that? And you're like, I didn't know they have vultures here. Oh my God. And then you put the camera in them. Do you remember? No. in the sky. Honey? Are there vultures here? before the sun went down. It's always a good thing. It's pretty bloody beautiful in here. The landscape is like no other that we've seen. I mean, it's like the same in Mexico, but anywhere else we've been. My favorite thing, I think, is like when you look up and there's all little cactus. Well, they're quite big cactus. They look like little cactus on top of the mountains. So dry. Look how clear it is, we can see anchor chain. There's a stingray down there. Look out bud, we're gonna get hit by it. our anchor chain. No anchor chain. No. Guys, did the we water's say so no clear. funny? <laughs> I didn't think we said no funny. <laughs> We've just been enlightened that Australians say no really no. funny. <laughs> no. We had no idea that that was I the had case. no idea. No idea. But look at this water. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so excited for the morning. Just can't wait. I think I've got to jump in for a swim right now. Pulling on the anchor to make sure we're all good for the night. Oh, Seen beautiful. stingrays, turtles. Look at stingrays. If an anchorage has clear water, it takes a win. We're just so excited when there's clear water. We're easily pleased. Sunshine, clear water. We have a thing for clear water. We love it. How much do you love it? I love it a lot, mommy. It's about four meters deep and there's like funny little flies. <gasps> Shut the fly screen, Taj. There's little flies. Mama, you haven't made dinner. I <laughs> know, I've avoided it. Do it right now and I'm really tempted to jump in the water instead of That's making dinner. Uh... <laughs> Look at that, honey. That's so clear. Excited? What do we love most in the whole world? Clear water. It's the vultures. They're circling us. woke up this morning and I looked outside my window and guys look where we anchored. We came in here last night and the water looks like a swimming pool. We're gonna set the lira up, supports in the water. There's a hike. Oh guys today's gonna be a fun day. Thank you. 
Turns out Taj was right about the vultures. When we got to the beach that morning, what did we see? A turkey vulture. Where's the trap dial? <laughs> it's like we're making our own. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful. We're kind of making our own track here. It's not really a hike, it's kind of just a big hill. There's lots of rattlesnakes here. So we've got some tips because we're from the land down under. When you go walking or hiking and there's snakes, make sure you step really loudly. So they know you're coming and then they don't get startled and then they don't leap out and bite you. What do you reckon? Snakes don't like Australians, they fear them. We're puffed, so let's pretend we're looking at the view. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. That's pretty nice, guys. Pretty magical. Probably say the best anchorage we've been in in Catalpa 2, you think? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we heard one rattlesnake. It didn't sound like what I thought it'd sound like. It had like a bit of a high pitch noise with it. Yeah, he was in a rock. There's a lot of um, noises. It kind of sound like a... Um, I don't like bugs in Australia. <laughs> What a beautiful place for our morning mud water. Mud water is a coffee alternative and a part of our morning ritual. Its health benefits from the organic, no nasty ingredients help us with our focus, energy and immunity. I love the taste and what a view to enjoy it this morning. This place is really starting to grow on us. We chose to come into this little bay here. I can't remember the name of it. it. On the satellite imagery, the bay behind us looks exactly like it should do on the imagery. It's not as clear. It looks weedier and deeper. But uh, yeah, using that satellite imagery just helps you pick out those beautiful little spots. Look at that paradise. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Nearly pushed me into the cactus. Have been very painful. <laughs> okay, we've had a beautiful hike this morning. Nice view, wasn't very long. But we're about to walk back down and jump in that water because, like, look at it, it's beautiful. 